with the word system, we can mean virtually any system in the natural sciences. You can think of biological systems where different species live together peacefully or hunt each other. Or you can think of chemical systems with a few substances reacting together. Or of electric circuits in physics where currents and potentials are varying. The dynamical in dynamical systems means that the systems are changing over time. We want to see how populations of animals evolve over time or how much of a certain chemical is needed. Some of these systems can be described using discrete dynamical systems. And this video will use an example of biology to see what discrete dynamical systems are. Well, we, we will look at an area where lions and zebras are living together, not quite peacefully. We denote the number of lions in the region at t equals k by lk. k may be measured in weeks or in months or how often observations are made. k is varying between 0, 1, 2, 3. So L3 means the number of lions present in the area in the third week. We do the same for the zebras. We denote them by ZK, the number of zebras at t equals k. And then we can combine these two scalar quantities in one factor, and that's what's called the state factor of the system. It describes what the state is of a certain, in this case, biological system at t equals k. So we combine LK and ZK in one factor. So now the factor gets an interpretation. It tells us what the situation is of the system at T equals K. Well, just factors are not so interesting here, so let's look at the dynamics. So what happens if time goes on? Well, if we are one week later, let's look at the lions. Suppose there are no zebras at all, then they will starve. So suppose there are no ZK, then the number of lions one week later equals 0.2 times the lions at t equals k. In other words, the number of lions is less now, only 20% is left. Fortunately, if there are zebras around, they have some food. So if there are a lot of zebras, this term here becomes very big, which means that it's, that it's profitable for the lions and the population of the lions will grow. Yes, they will starve some, but there are, uh, we, we get many more due to this term over here. So what happens with our zebras over here? Well, as long as there are no lions around, so if LK would be zero, then ZK plus one equals 2.3 times ZK, which means that the population of the zebras is increasing. If you start with a population of say one in some unit, then a week later you have 2.3 and a week later you have 2.3 times 2.3 zebras. So the population is exploding. So you get a big growth of zebras, as long as there are no lions around. However, if there are a lot of lions around, we have this term over here, min minus 0.6 times LK. If we have a lot of lions, this term becomes very big and negative. So the zebras are not so happy anymore. They are eaten away. And the amount of zebras could actually start to decrease due to the minus sign over here. So we have, in fact, two competing effects. Because suppose there are many lions, then the number of zebras starts to decrease due to this term. But if there are no more zebras around, or very few zebras, this term starts to become very small, and the lions start to starve. But then if the lions, in turn, start to starve, this term becomes small, and this term will become dominant. So the population of the zebras is again increasing. So what will happen over time? We will need some linear algebra to figure that out. Let's rewrite our system first a bit. Because we can rewrite the dynamics, LK plus 1, ZK plus 1, in terms of a matrix equation, of LK plus 1, ZK plus 1, 
equals the matrix A times LK ZK. For example, the first line over here, LK plus 1 equals 0.2 times LK plus 0.9 times ZK, which is exactly the first line over here. Same goes for the second line. Which means that we have rewritten our dynamical system here as a matrix equation. XK plus 1 equals some matrix A times XK. And this is an example of a dynamical system. Well, let us look at one special feature of dynamical systems, the equilibrium solutions. In an equilibrium, we have the same amount of lines and the same amount of zebras for all k. So in the equilibrium state, xk equilibrium equals x equilibrium for all k. So it's the same amount for all times. So what happens in that case? Well, xk equilibrium k at k plus 1 equals a times xk, as always. But since all of them are the same, then this and this vector are the same, so we end up with a times x equilibrium. So this is a way to determine equilibrium solutions. Well, we can see one equilibrium. If this is a zero vector, and that is a zero vector, the uh, uh, equation is satisfied. This is a kind of a sad equilibrium, because if you have a zero vector over here, that means that there are no animals left. Well, it's still an equilibrium, of course.